We uh, set up uh, three uh, like uh, the objective. Uh, one is uh, uh, zero emission uh, vehicle the leadership. The one other one is uh, quality leadership. The last one is uh, uh, the continuous the, the steady growth. That's the uh, three uh, kind of objective we set up as a uh, Nissan GT 2012. Another very important the, uh, the aspect of uh, the Nissan GT 2012 for R&D is. Uh, uh, we committed to provide uh, to the uh, very advanced new technology to the market every year, and the number is uh, uh, for zero, uh, uh, 08 and zero 09, uh, zero 08, uh, We are going to provide at least the ten uh, the new technology to the market. Ten is uh, not necessarily mediocre ten; it's uh, like uh, the world leading kind of world premium ten new technologies. And then uh, starting on nine, that ten will become more than fifteen. So this is our commitment. So we have a lot of uh, new technology in our pipeline. So uh, we, we are going to uh, you know, keep providing like, uh, uh, those uh, technologies to the market, and they which will become uh, like a uh, uh, value for the uh, Nissan cars, or, or maybe value for the customers. Technological, the, the, the focus area, we have uh, four areas. It's uh, the safety or environment and dynamic performance and life on board. This is a very uh, the, the aggressive approach to us, like uh, really zero emission by uh, electric vehicle. Uh, we are thinking like uh, electric vehicle will be an ultimate solution for the, uh, the, the global environment issue or more specifically global warming kind of a countermeasure. And the EV is a, a good solution. And how we can accelerate this EV uh, introduction to the market and then uh, the penetration more and more into the global market. That's our challenge. So in order to achieve this one, uh, we decide to put the, our uh, first EV in the year 2010, and the starting in Japan and the US, and then uh, expanding that application to the other market as well. And the year 2012, uh, we, ha we are going to have a mass market to the EV. That is a more like a, 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 the, you know, the covering uh, the global the market. Uh, that's our plan. In terms of the environment, the, uh, the subject, the uh, most significant one is uh, electric vehicle. Uh, this is the first time uh, we present the uh, electric uh, the prototype vehicle, and the stakeholders can drive this vehicle. And I hope they can enjoy the, this dri driving. And this is, uh, uh, there are two uh, maybe main aspects. Uh, this vehicle has uh, our uh, most updated uh, lithium-ion battery uh, technology. And battery technology is the core for the electric vehicle, and uh, this is uh, uh, the we are having uh, developing this on many many years. Now is uh, we are very confident about the, the performance of the battery. So this vehicle will have this battery updated. And another aspect is uh, the driving performance by very advanced to the uh, control the, the system or uh, uh, mechanism of the, these electric cars, especially the motor or those uh, voltage or uh, uh, total uh, kind of electric control. Uh, we can provide very advanced to the performance of the electric vehicle. So the people can enjoy uh, this, uh, this performance. This will provide that the very bright kind of a good image about the uh, Nissan EV should be uh, in the market. Electric vehicle is the ultimate solution I mentioned, but before that uh, we have a lot of the, the technology which is bridging uh, the current technology to the, those uh, like future technology. So those bridging area, there are a lot. Uh, most of the uh, obvious one is, uh, the, for example, CVT. Uh, the continuous uh, the, you know, the variable uh, transmission, and that is, uh, uh, we, have, we already have uh, one million application in the world, but uh, it's advancing, so that's one thing. The other one is like a Nissan original uh, HEV, hybrid. So we already have uh, the prototype cars for that one, and then that is also uh, available for those presentation. And the uh, fuel cell vehicle is also uh, another like uh, type of uh, electric vehicle, and this also be uh, kind of updated and then may be shown in, uh, in, the, in the, uh, this event. Safety, uh, we uh, already proposed that the safety shield concept. This is uh, like a concept to protect the, the vehicle from the, any kind of a risk or uh, uh, the traffic the, the problems. And then uh, ultimate goal for us is to make uh, our vehicle free from like uh, any uh, uh, the traffic accident. That's our goal. And the, to achieve this one, uh, most typical technology for this one is uh, the distance control assist. 
and this is uh, uh, the, how you can control the distance the, between the cars and the running in the front car. So those are two vehicle distance can be, should be controlled very uh, integrated way. But uh, we are going to extend uh, this idea to the lateral direction or the rear direction. So the overall 360 direction, uh, we can protect the vehicle uh, from the accident. That's, uh, that's uh, the concept. So uh, we have uh, the several kinds of examples how we can achieve this concept by uh, this event. Combining the safety technology and the environment technology, for the safety technology, uh, we already introduced uh, like a very uh, integrated the, uh, the pedal system. And this pedal system can provide uh, the, a lot of the other like, uh, you know, benefit to the drivers. One is a uh, uh, eco pedal. Eco pedal is uh, when the customer don't need to have uh, any sudden acceleration. Very kind of uh, the moderate, the smooth kind of a driving performance. Uh, they don't need to have uh, such a kind of high performance, kind of uh, the moderate, the good performance. Uh, to assist this one, eco pedal is uh, provides the best the, uh, the optimized uh, pedal performance for the best of fuel economy. So even if you want to accelerate, you can accelerate, but the pedal can uh, tell you like uh, this is the uh, uh, best position to uh, the, do the eco-driving, that, that's an uh, eco-pedal.